Hi, everybody. My name is Jacob Kramer. I live on Quincy Street over by the Market Basket. I've been involved in the Neighborhood Council Group for the past year, though the process has been the Neighborhood Council Working Group, and though the process has been lengthy, I stuck with it because I see an urgent need for a democratic group that represents our home, especially when it comes to issues of development. For the Neighborhood Council to be effective, we need a founding board that is dedicated to outreach and building membership. I've proven my commitment to this principle by creating presentations, leaving flyers on hundreds of doorsteps, and encouraging candidates from a variety of perspectives to run for this board. I love Union Square because it is a place that is welcoming to students, recent immigrants, artists, and working class people, where families can grow and older people can age in place. It is home to multiple gardens, including the Community Growing Center, which I hope to represent uh, as an organization member on the board. Right now, however, I see the unique character of Union Square under threat. When rising rents pushed out the Ruby Rogers Center, a refuge for our most vulnerable, we learned how progress leaves people behind. When 3,400 residents applied for 35 affordable apartments, it became clear that current zoning can't address our housing crunch. When unsustainable infrastructure plans, like the stormwater tank at Nunciado Field, are pursued over objections, it is clear that we are being heard but not heeded. The city of Somerville is happy to produce 30-year projections of how new development's tax revenue will pay down hundreds of millions of dollars of infrastructure debt. There's plenty of confidence in predicting the economic upside. But as of yet, we have no information on the social impact of luxury development. Who will be welcomed in and who will be pushed out? If current trends are any indication, unmitigated for-profit development will drive up the cost of living, forcing out longtime residents and permanently altering the square's unique character. Our neighborhood is faced with a choice. Do we sit by while outside interests make the most important choices about our home without us, or do we collectively determine what we need and develop to meet those needs? If elected, I'll work tirelessly to expand membership, identify community needs, and negotiate tangible benefits to meet those needs. Thank you.